everybody, this is Jana with Simply My Crafts, and um, I'm going to report a couple of things. Number one, the video that I uploaded yesterday of my all nice and organized um, craft room, well, guess what? It is no longer. Um, I started working again, and I just am not a neat person. I, I make messes wherever I go, and um, just the way it is. So anyhow, the second thing is, is that I'm going to attempt my first tutorial. Uh, hopefully I don't have to delete everything and, and you'll get to see it. But I've been making these um, flowers for a swap on the Cricut message board. Um, and they're um, the poly sateen type uh, fabric. I had a bolt of this that I bought for another project some time ago. And um, I came across it and I thought, goodness, I, this would be perfect. So these are different ones, and this was cut from the uh, Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die, but the rest of them are just um, circles that um, I've cut and, and melted. And I know a lot of people do that with the, um, um, oh, I can't think, the, the candles. Um, I am... A wimp, I guess. Um, I think that's an accident waiting to happen as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, and maybe what I'm doing is just as dangerous. Um, but I use my embossing gun. And let's see, and I'm trying to, I'm, this is sort of awkward for me because the camera is sitting right here in front of me. Um, and I'm having to look through the tripod to, to watch what I'm doing and, and try to make sure I'm still in frame here. Anyhow, as you can see, I have just a, a setting mat here that I use in, in a, a paper piercer. It's also a brand setter, by the way. Um, and I'm just sort of kind of going to eyeball these as far as um, trying to line them, center them up just a little bit. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five um, centers here. And I may find that I need to put, after I've done this part, I may, well, hello, I might have to add... Um, another small one on top of this. Well, let's see. I guess I just played with it a little bit too much there. All right, so I'm just sort of kind of going to put a, pull this out. And, and the reason I do this is because I'm going to use, gosh, this is really hard to tell if you've got the center when you're looking through um, the um, legs here. Um, just sort of give it a little twist there. But I'm going to um, use Brad's for my... Alright, well, my battery went dead in the middle of doing this. So um, I'm just going to continue. Um, I was punching holes um, in the center here. I went ahead and, and did these. Um, and I do that because I'm going to use... Um, a brad to to start off with this. Um, I want to tell you that I've got just an old uh, kitchen towel underneath my uh, craft mat. It's the Ranger sticky mat or non-sticky mat. I forget what it's called. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And actually, I got mine on sale for $6.99, and I put that in backwards. I want the sheen to be to the inside. Okay, so I've just used just a regular everyday old brad there, and I've got my um, tweezers and I'll just tell you I'm not very coordinated okay um, I have um, this M embossing heat tool because it always sounds like I'm saying bossing on the um, video but um, I had this one has two settings and I do it on high and it's been sitting here cold so we'll see how um, how long this takes to heat up and um, let, me see, let me do something here I need to put these down because I have a tendency to make them blow everywhere. Alright, so. You have to be careful not to leave it in one place um, too long, especially for heat up. In the beginning, it's okay, uh, or I've learned that it's worked okay for me. Um, Okay, there we go. I'm getting just a little bit of wrinkling going on there. And 
I think that's about all that I want to do and this is going to be hot here um, then I um, go to the I got these out of order I think go to the next circle and I just um, keep that in the um, in my tweezers there and pull it out Oops. push that down and then you can go after it again and this time around, it's not going to take quite as long to keep the edges because it's already heated up. And I didn't get that hole in the center, so it looks like I'm going to have to and I may still not be putting it in the center. There we go. And I probably, unless I make a boo-boo or something, oops, like right there, I probably am not going to do any more talking because uh, I want to concentrate on not burning it uh, because you can burn a hole through here. And then also I'll probably end up speeding this up so that you don't have to sit through me uh, melting all of the, the different layers. You have to be careful, it is hot. Um, I just sort of burnt myself on the bread. Right. So, I'll let that set for a little bit. Um, oops. And let that cool off um, just a tad bit. And I wanted to show you here, um, I didn't have... Um, any purple brads, um, sparkly brads or anything to put on the inside. And so I took um, just regular brads here and um, stickled them. So, um, well, anyhow, so um, I stickled them and, uh, and then I ran out of the purple. Um, or the whatever lilac or whatever that is and so I went looking could not find any more um, at three different stores and they're all like an hour or hour and a half from me so I'm just out of luck but oops well now that didn't work so this is live and learn here folks um, these are the ones I did last night with something that wasn't a different brand than stickles and it just I don't know if you saw that but it just came came right off so, back to the drawing board there. I wonder if I could put that on with some glossy accents. Um, have it go in there. So anyhow, I'll probably um, use this. Or the other thing that I've been using is I just bought some... Um, the uh, crafting beads at... I don't remember. Probably at Michael's. I'm not, I think that's where I got these. Um, got them on sale. And I uh, use that to put... To glue to the inside... Just like that. I just use my hot glue gun. Um, I'll show you what I do here. I think this is cool enough to pull out. Just pull it out and grab my trusty glue gun. Sort of hold it in place and squirt a little bit. I don't have a very steady hand, so I find it better to um, put that on the edge there, like that. Um, I'll probably put three in here, but I'll put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, and then I'll hold this so that the holes are going from side to side instead of 
um, you know, up and down. So maybe we can try to camouflage it and then pull it out. And pull these out just a little bit, but um, I've been told, and I haven't done this, but I've been told if you take and just run, this is live television, folks. No, we'll um, see if the poster just melt your pieces off of there, the, the stringies. So, but you want to be careful not to reheat your glue. So, there you go. Look there. I'm just going to show you uh, this one that I'm going to use um, as a hair clip. It doesn't have a center in there, just sort of is real fluffy and, and flow, um, uh, flowery, like flower, right? <laughs> so, anyhow, I really appreciate you taking the time to look. Hope you'll come back, and um, I guess that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.